to go and then retreat straight into it, they'll, they'll get it longer than if you set it right on top of them and, and they can immediately retreat out of it. So that did not get him a squad kill. I think it was kind of a waste, um, in my opinion, actually. Should have waited for a better opportunity to use it. Such as when, again, because of the damage over time thing, when you have really heavily damaged units in your enemy's army, but they're still, um, have, don't have any model losses, but are really low health, that's when these damage over time things really, really take their toll. Um, rather than just full squads, because you'll probably damage everything, which he did, he damaged everything a lot, but didn't get any, didn't even get any model kills, much less squad kills. So, uh, so yeah, I mean those chains are kind of helpful in picking stuff off, but otherwise, that's just kind of a, a basic rule for damage over time weapons. Use them on many models with low health. That's, that's always the best. Again, using using the uh, webway gear. How did he? Oh, okay. There's another one. Using the webway gates to get this entire force back and forth from his. Uh, I mean, he's just got a. You can see like a path of webway gates that you can just run straight through, pop out. So wow! Yikes! That's yeah. That's what Wraithguard do. Again, this Blight Grenade won't do too much, because uh, they're all full health. It'll damage them, but it'll damage them equally, so... You know, if all the damage was concentrated on one model, then you get model kills, but it's spread out, so it doesn't really make a difference. It's also true with Bolter weapons, by the way, in case you didn't know that. Um, with, uh, in terms of Space Marines or, um, you know, Tactical Squads or Devastators, if you shoot into more units, that damage will get, uh, kind of diffused out into those units more, and hence will, um... It'll still do the same amount of DPS, technically, but it'll diffuse out against those units and you won't get squad kills. So, for instance, if your enemy is in his power farm and you're targeting him, then that damage will get diffused out to some of the uh, some of the power generators, but won't do as much damage to that one target you're trying to shoot. So, uh, think about that when using bolter weapons. That's a nice little tip um, from me. <clears throat> Considering that I have, like, zero skill with this... Oh, did he lose? He did. And again... All he's doing is replacing his same unit. So once, so once Udain comes up with a build that can counter this sp specific unit set, then these units are kind of obsolete because he's just rebuilding the same thing, which then Udain can kill now because he's tailored his force to, to do that. Um, so I don't know if I really agree with the necessarily strict build or build order that's being used. I mean, and if he can, at this point, if you can kill level four CSM, then you can kill level one. I mean, it's. I mean, all micro things aside, if you're just looking at this in terms of force composition, uh, it is quite, quite close still. In terms of VPs, both players have been inflicting horrible losses on the other. Um, although, resource-wise, it does seem that, uh, I mean, Blast and Heat, aka I, uh, because I'm own, has lost almost his whole army over and has replaced it. I mean, he's lost Blood Crusher, lost CSM, lost two, two Heretic squads and lost his Predator, so he's pretty much rebuilt he's he rebuilt entire army, which is a lot of resources, and he's tier 3, whereas Udayan is only tier 2, and uh, isn't necessarily going for, for much. See, rather than going and rebuilding all these forces like he is, I would rather see, well, I don't know, just me personally, another Blight Grenade going down, might get this Wraith Guard squad. Nope, well, survives. Oh, chasing him with Touch of Nurgle, which got used. Good Chaos Globals, by the way. Um, really impressed with the Nurgle Globals, which are really good when used properly. But, um, but yeah. I don't know if... It's probably been all the Webway Gates that have been taking a toll on uh, on Udayan's economy. And that's the reason he doesn't have to paint units, because he's built... That have been maybe like 15 of these by now how many times they've been destroyed and how many he's put up I and mean, the entire map is covered. Which, by the way, this is probably my favorite Eldar play I've seen. I mean, all mechanics aside, along with, you know, my micro-macro, but just this idea of having a really mobile, strong force um, with the with the webway gates. I mean, you may call it cheese, but I don't know, I think it's being used quite effectively. And not many, and not all players can pull this off. I mean, he's really, really doing a good job of keeping map control with less units when he really shouldn't be. So we saw the blood pressure go down again, and we're seeing another one get built again, even though there's a Bright Lance and two Wraith Guards out, <laughs> along with, four, I mean, level four warp, warp Spiders, along with level three and two Wraith Guard, that's just no reason to get a blood pressure at this point. No reason. Because it'll get haywired and one-shotted by the Wraith Guard. <sighs> and if that, if survives that, then there's a 
right lamps that can get set up. But anyway. Hmm, Nurgle for the uh, tank. I don't think I've seen the mark of Nurgle on a Predator um, ever, actually. I mean, it is quite tanky now. It's got 1050 uh, hit points, but all the same. Blood Crusher's back out. And now we see the crazy leveling on both teams. There's uh, level 4 Rangers, 4 Warp Spiders. God, these things do a lot of damage. And their energy regen is just ridiculous with the uh, with that uh, x arc on it. Um, level 4 Heretics, level 4 Heretics, level 1 Heretics. Oh, God, get the Wraith Guard out of there. Yes, ah, see. Well, that uh, that is where the Mark of Nurgle shines for that tank, because it definitely would have died from those two volleys from the Wraith Guard. Wraith Guard will survive. Definitely. And goes level 3, so that's great. Noxious Cloud trying to get in, but won't do anything. Um, what else? Man, see, well, I will say that that tank did would have died if, uh, if not for the Mark of Nurgle. Got down to just about half health, which is just about how much it would have had otherwise. Um, what's again? Oh, right. Um, actually, and then, in case you don't know, Super Heavy Infantry, which, Wraith Guard or not, so never mind. <laughs> oh, man, I have it. Almost two level four Wraith Guard. But for future reference, um, or maybe this was the last patch only, grenade damage used to do buttloads of damage to Super Heavy Infantry, so like stick bombs or heretic grenade launchers were really good against Wraith Guard, but just melted back because they were super heavy. But, um, I don't know if that's the case anymore. <coughs> Partially because they're just heavy infantry now, but I don't know if that dynamic with super heavy is still in there. So this is—I mean, this is <laughs> really hard to, to explain. I—I I think I think Udain's kind of outplaying because I'm on um, in terms of of uh, the uh, the unit unit preservation composition. I think his force is, is more specifically tailored to uh, to beat. Um, because I'm on which oh dead predator got to start moving or you're gonna get wraith guarded which he did so he's dead. Um, yikes! That is a narc of good lord, narc of Mergle, mark of Nurgle. Cannot speak on these uh, melee heretics. And get the warp spiders out of there because they die so quick and they're level four. And you have full energy. Run, run, run. Thank you. Wow, was that? Okay, never mind. That was a good grenade launch. That was close. Ranger's just sitting there being stealth. Don't really want to take part in the battle anymore. It's been a long game. Taking a rest. And then they pop up. Down goes a heretic metal. VPs 59 to 58 at a complete deadlock with. Ooh, a decap going down. I think what a lot of people forget is that when you do decap the enemy, that does start the counter back up. It's not like you have to capture another one so you can get it. You can't just decap the enemies, which sometimes is easier. But but uh, the Sfarseer is going to stay and try to cap this and will probably die. Oh, she pulled out. I should have either left it, gotten the decap. Oh, she'd have the decap. Never mind. Okay, well, that was good. Had the decap, but of course the top gets capped right then. I mean, this heavy, the, I, I love what uh, you Dan did with his force. He started off with a very normal Eldar build, and then has a very abnormal build right now in terms of double Wraith Guard and, and Rangers. Didn't go back to Banshees because he knew they would just melt to a uh, Heretic slash Mark of Nurgle. A lot of forces. Ooh, wow. All right, so the blood pressure went down again. Predator went down again. And uh, I don't know how many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have a total of eight webway gates out on the field. That's that's something else. Only heretics left <laughs> with the uh, level one cast space marines and the eight plague champions. So that's that's that thing can take a lot of damage. Level far level seven far seer. That's not bad. I think the mobility of Eldar is going to win this one out. But that'd be my after reaction because because I mean heretics can't do anything against wraith guard regardless of if they have melee or grenades. They're just going to. I mean, be instigated by two level, or level four and almost level four Wraith Guards, so. And the damage output there is just, uh, goddamn humongous. And then, uh, yep, Warp Spiders, again, will melt Heretics, so. I don't think Chaos is going to be able to pull this one out. Don't think they're going to be able to. Unless something really, really, I mean, <laughs> look at that, this, just. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I shouldn't be. 
Okay. <coughs> the sight of heretics literally going flying across the map made me happy. Okay, so a full heretic squad is dead. We have uh, five squads to cap versus four. Um, yeah, I'm going to call this one. I don't think Chaos is going to be able to... Unless capping just takes its toll, which it shouldn't, but... I don't know. Maybe, maybe because the Wraith Guard are slow, and I mean, it's really more of a blob force like Chaos used to be. Maybe you won't be able to, to pull it out. I don't know. Personally, again, nothing against because I'm on, and considering with what, I mean, with what he was working with, I think he easily could have won this game. I think he probably is managing his units better, but has just been building some of the wrong stuff. Um, and good god, that kills things fast. Level 9 Plague Champion, one of the toughest units to kill. And the entire game goes down to, well, yep, to level 4 race guard. That's, that's what happens. Oh, and gotta be capping, gotta be capping, gotta be capping. Don't know why they're not capping. And first year barely gets this down. Very nice. Is gonna die, but uh, it'll be worth it for the... the oh, God! Uh, just retreat a second too late. Oh, Warp Spires come in. Might get the kill. I, honest to God, don't know who's gonna win this. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lordy. That uh, cap is going to finish because the Wraith Guard, or because the Warp Spiders can't kill level 4 heretics that fast. Oh my god, he's gonna win. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. If those Wraith Guard were down here, that'd be game, but. Nope, they're gonna get it. Oh no, they're not. Yes, they are. Yep, that's game. Wow, GG. Very GG. Wow, that's. Oh wow, that. I mean, in games like that, it's where it's obvious that. That unit didn't play better, or Udayan played better. That's, uh, at the, I mean, if that game had lasted five more minutes, you know, that would have been game. But, in the end, he, uh, he gave up a VP lead early, and that's how it goes. So, finishes with a CSM and a play champion. Good God. That was, that was a good game. <laughs> I can see now why that's, uh, Hall of Fame worthy. I'll, uh, probably vote yes for this, because I really, really love the Eldar play, and, uh, and the, and... Chaos, now, like I said, because I'm on played really well too, not trying to bash him. I do think that uh, Udayan played better though. Especially if there was lag there, I don't know if there was, but that one, I mean, I think that game would have been a lot shorter too. That one massive uh, loss. Oh, wow. Okay, so yeah, I mean, the scores are very close. Um, and the only reason that Blast and Heat won was because uh, was of those, well, a little bit with the points, but barely. I mean, Better unit score for uh, Udayan, better commander score, no, alright, definitely got the commander score for, for, uh, because I'm owned, but, resources Udayan won, if that early, remember that huge massive loss that Udayan uh, had way back at the beginning, good god, this is a 45 minute game, um, I'm sorry, you've been listening to me talk long enough, but, um, what was I going to say, oh right, I mean that huge loss early on, um, that uh, you didn't blame that lag. If that hadn't happened, that would have been a GG. And he almost won anyway. In my my opinion, kind of outplayed his opponent. But but anyway, hope you enjoyed this cast. I won't keep you guys longer because for the three people who are still listening, um, I thank you. That was that was a darn good game. Go back and watch that again without my voice because you know you can go wherever you want and you don't have to listen to me ramble. Um, yeah. So download the replay on that. Hope you guys enjoyed. This has been Captain Gerg. I am out.